welcome back to Studio 33 Art by Kay. I've just created this piece with um, using spiral of colours and then using a meat skewer to draw a spiral after I had used the sink strainers to create the pattern. But now I want to take it one step further so I thought I'd just do it as a separate video because a lot of people have been asking me what is a reverse dip. So basically a reverse dip is when you've put the paints down, you can lay them down in a spiral, you can do it, pour the paint over a um, bottle bottom or over uh, some sort of other shape that you've got. Uh, you can do just a puddle of paint, different paints. And then you just basically take your skewer and I like to draw as if there's petals. It's quite nice on a round one, this one. I'm just drawing in to the centre there, like there's eight petals on here. Quite a bit of paint in the centre. And then you take a paper napkin, like such, and then spray some water on it just to damp it down. So I'm just doing that now. I'm sorry you can't see that. So just enough to damp it down. What that does is it um, ma makes the paper napkin contact well with the paint and will lie flat onto it because you want it to be making contact on all areas if possible so then i'm taking this paper napkin and i'm going to lay it down into the center hopefully That's about the center there open it out make sure it's lying nice and flat so this is a reverse dip because you've got your paint down and then you're putting something onto it and then pulling it off. If it's a double dip, you've had two pieces of um, canvas or tiles and you put them together, it's a double dip. And then just a straight dip is when you put paint, say onto a piece of plastic or um, silicon and then you take your canvas and, and push it into it. That's a straight dip. Now I can see there's a couple of spots I didn't get quite enough water on my serviette, but hopefully that will... I'm just going to make sure there's no bubbles under there. If it's not making contact, it won't lift as neatly as you want it to. But I do feel like that's making contact in all areas there. Okay, so now we're just going to take every each corner, bring it up into the centre. the other one up and now each of the other corners up into the center try not to wiggle it around and move it too much the more you wiggle it the more it skews and now hopefully I'm in the center and I'm just going to try try being the operative word to lift that straight up into the center just slowly and then off you can actually take that serviette and um, I'll just do it here. I don't know if you can see. Pop it onto, say, some card or something like that. Create some beautiful cards because there's some lovely colours in there and there's actually quite a bit of paint comes off when you do that. I wasn't organised enough today to do that. You've got quite a bit of paint in the centre there. And you can see you get this beautiful pattern. And the cells are starting to reappear. Just trying to get rid of that out of the middle there. Okay, so I'm just going to use my heat embossing tool again. So you can see a lot of those cells from the supercell paint started to pop through once I've put the heat on there. They're coming through beautifully actually. Don't know if I like that centered like that or not. I'll put a little bit more gold in there. Give another little bit of a finger pop.
Don't be afraid to add a bit more paint if you want to. Now my base, that dark purple is really, um, is really very dominant. So just be aware that whatever you're putting down as your base can actually really um, show through in the end. And we can really clearly see that here today. Sometimes they come through more than other times, but it's really come through today. Okay, just going off the center there a bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna give it a little spin. kiss in the middle there. Oh, that's better. Much better. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Well, not the best composition, but um, that was a, just a demonstration of, of how to do that. feeling like the purple was a bit too dark in there. Um, so I almost want to pour my paints over that again and lift again um, to get rid of some of that purple. So let's do that, hey? So I'm just going to lay down the turquoise again. First, you don't like what you've got. Don't be afraid to continue on. Try again. I do like that turquoise colour. I'm not going to put the purple down again. A little bit of the navy left, not much. In fact, not enough to even come out. I'll just put a bit of the um, Supercell, this one's different, it's the teal colour. They look nice together, don't they, with that purple background? Now, I like the purple. <laughs> I think there was just too much of it. Um, so next I'll lay down just the uh, magenta, the Montmartre straight pouring paint. This isn't, hasn't got any of the supercell in it. So we laid down two supercell, now one non-supercell. Now I'm not going to do the um, kisses with the sink strainer or do the spiral circle with the skewer this time. Yeah, I wish I had some more of that Shiraz. I might have a little bit. I've got a little bit here that I've made up into one of these bottles. I think it might have a tiny bit of flow troll in it. So I do love the Shiraz. I think it really makes it pop. See how much easier it is to draw your spirals when it's in a squeezy bottle? Oops, not much paint left in there. There we go. And to finish it off, we will throw in the gold. And this is the pouring paint with the supercell in it. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's a real mishmash, as you can see. Can I put any of the interference violet in there? Or oh, maybe just a little bit. This is the Interference Violet by Pouring Masters. It's, again, it's a pouring paint. 
and that will show up as white now but when it dries it'll be a beautiful violet color okay burst the bubbles so i'm just going to draw some lines through just to give it a bit of a flower shape just with my meat skewer well actually it's not it's a um chopstick okay doesn't have to be perfect that's actually quite nice just like that isn't it so now I'm just going to wet down a paper napkin or a serviette, whatever you want to call it, depending on which part of the world you come from. You can actually use plastic wrap to do this, people do sometimes. Or even bubble wrap gives a great result too, it's something a bit different. So I'm literally just spraying water on the paper napkin and that's to help it to lie flat and touch all surfaces. This is going to be very pretty. Actually, it would have been interesting to see what this looked like with the um, sink strainer kisses on there. I'll do that another day. So I'm just going to lay that pretty much in the centre if possible, as close as I can. Open it out. It's always hard to do this with your gloves on. Just had my nails done, so I'm being very good about wearing my gloves for once. Okay. Gently patting it, don't push hard, just to make sure it's touching everywhere. I always like to give a little push into the centre, so it gives like a little um, kiss in the centre there when I lift it up. Right, so now, just taking each corner into the middle, like so. Now this is a reverse dip, a double dip's when you've got two different canvases or tiles that you press together and a straight dip is when you've got paint that you've put down onto say a silicon board or something and then you push your canvas or tile onto it that's a dip okay trying to find the corners we want to get all um, eight of these corners up Try not to wiggle it too much in the process. And I'm hoping I'm close to the centre, so I'm just going to bring that straight up without skewing it too much. Now the paint that's on the serviette, I could dip that onto um, a card or something like that. Can you see how beautiful it is when you dip down and get these beautiful patterns? Absolutely gorgeous. Now that is beautiful. Much better than the purple I had before. I can still see some of the purple coming through, but those other colours are beautiful. So just try and get the centre to come up a bit more. Like so. And now hit it with the heat embossing tool, make some of those cells come up. Definitely comes up better when most of the paints are the supercells. So we had um, the teal and the turquoise, which was supercell in this one, and the gold. And that was all. And then the pinks were just the straight um, Montmartre pouring paint. And then the pouring master's color here. So I had at least three of the um, super cells in there and look at that wow isn't that pretty all right i'm going to give it a very small spin just to spread those um, cells out a little bit
you have to play around with your colors because sometimes you'll you'll put something on um like this and you'll go oh like the previous one i did i didn't love it but this i love so you can just go over the top of what you've already got there it's not a problem I like that center i like it as it goes out to the edge not loving that side there as much so if you want that to come off and not this side push your piece over closer to the edge and that will make the centrifugal force will force that paint off because it's closer to the edge so here we go Taking it off a little bit, might just give it a little tilt to help it along. Don't want to move the paint around too much. So as I move those, I'm making the others lose their shape, so I don't want to do it too much. I don't want to mess it too much more than that. Still okay. All right, I'll bring you down for a close-up. So I'm just bringing you down for the close-up of this piece. You can see all those beautiful cells and the colours. Just lovely. Did a bit of a balloon kiss in the centre there just to um, give it a bit of a different shape. And I don't like the way some of the cells have sort of misshapen a little bit. Um, I think they had a bit of resistance from the paint underneath and it stopped it from flowing. Sometimes if it's a bit... Um, bumpy underneath it will stop them from flowing but still I still really love it love these cells it's a very simple technique just mop mark pouring paint with the cell super cells and the plain one spiral reverse dip slight spin and there you have it a reverse dip okay so I'll see you back here in studio 33 in the not too distant future until then, stay safe. Bye-bye.